If you watch this video until the end, you might become the first wealthy person in your family. I'm going to teach you important things. But before that, let me ask you, do you want to be successful in life, which is different from just succeeding? For instance, there might be an NBA player who is successful on the field but has a messy personal life. This person succeeds in playing basketball but isn't successful overall in life. To be successful in life, you have to work in various areas like personal, professional, financial, family, and social. So what are you aiming for? Do you want success in one specific thing or overall success? Leave your comment. I want to mention that if you want to be successful, watch this video until the end because you'll find valuable tips there. Now, you might think that being successful means being born with a silver spoon. That's not true. Many successful people had rough childhoods. In fact, 85% of successful people come from humble families. This means they worked for others and faced difficult times. But your past doesn't determine your future. You can start writing about your future today. Understanding this perspective is crucial. It doesn't matter where you were born or how you grew up. You can open a new chapter anytime. But to do that, we need to make changes. We all have certain beliefs and ways of doing things, but often, these beliefs hold us back. When a belief doesn't give us the results we want, it becomes outdated. We need to let go of such beliefs to evolve and succeed. Someone has already done a lot of research on this, studying millionaires and successful people, not just in terms of money, but also in terms of family, health, and more. They've figured out the common habits of these successful people. Now, if you want to move towards success, I need to understand where you're starting from. Without a clear idea of where you're at, it's almost impossible to achieve the success you're aiming for. So we'll focus on four areas of your life. Health, family, finances, and professional life. For each area, you'll rate yourself from 1 to 10. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your health? Are you healthy or have unhealthy habits like smoking or excessive drinking? Next, let's talk about your family. How would you rate your family's life? Is there harmony in your family? Now, let's talk about your financial life. Take a look at your bank account. If you lost your job today, or if something unexpected happened, how long could you maintain your current lifestyle? Have you accumulated enough money for it to work for you? Because remember, money can be a great employee, but a terrible boss. If you're working for money, my condolences. But if you're making money work for you, that's the right way. So, how's your financial situation? Moving on to your professional life. Let me ask you a simple question. If you won a million dollars in the lottery tomorrow, would you still continue doing the same job? If the answer is yes, then you're in total harmony with your professional activity and you deserve a 10 rating. But if you change your job or career path, then you're on the wrong job. It's all about how satisfied you are with your work and whether it aligns with your goals and aspirations. Now, you've given ratings for these four areas of your life you must have a clear indication of your overall life. Now you need to focus on areas where ratings are low and need to improve. Think of it like a horse race where the winner crosses the finish line just slightly ahead of the second place horse. Despite the small difference, the winner receives all the recognition and rewards. Similarly, a small difference in your performance can lead to a tremendous difference in your results. Consider this when comparing a financially struggling individual to a successful millionaire. They might follow similar daily routines, but the difference in their outcomes is significant. So remember, even small improvements in your actions and mindset can lead to substantial changes in your life. Now you might wonder, how do I improve? This is where a crucial point comes in. I'll show you what you need to do. The first thing is to develop the ability to visualize, not what you don't want, but what you do want. If you focus on what you don't want, it's like driving a car while only looking in the rearview mirror. You know where you've been, but you have no idea where you're going. So you have to learn to imagine the situations you desire. They have to exist first in your mind. Let me give you an example. Suppose you dream of owning a new house. You have to visualize how many rooms it will have, how it will be built, what colors the walls will be, how many bedrooms and bathrooms it'll have, and what furniture and carpeting you'll choose. 
The more specific and detailed your visualization, the easier it will be to create. Everything that exists in the physical universe was first created in someone's mind. Even the phone you're holding right now, it was first imagined before it became real. So, you need to learn the process of visualization. It's simple. Just close your eyes and focus on what you want in your health, family, professional life, and other important areas of your life. Now, let's talk about how you're judged in life. You're evaluated based on what you say and how you say it. Your response to a question can make all the difference. For instance, imagine two bricklayers. If I ask the first one what he does, he might say, I lay bricks, stacking them one on top of the other. But if I ask the second one the same question, he might respond, I'm also a bricklayer, but I'm building the most iconic monument in the world. This will be here for generations to come. Both physically do the same job, but one sees it as just a job, while the other has a broader perspective. The second bricklayer won't remain a bricklayer for long. Soon, he'll own his own construction company. So, it's not just about what you do, it's also about how you perceive and communicate it, which can shape your future. Next, you're judged by what you say. Before you speak, nobody knows if you're intelligent or not. But once you start talking, if you speak nonsense, there's no way to take it back. Once a spoken word is out, it's out. That's why it's often wiser to stay silent if you're unsure of what to say. And it's not just about what you say, but how you say it. Two people can say the same thing, but the impact can be completely different. There's a saying that the singer is more important than the song. You might love a song when it's sung by your favorite singer, but if it's sung by someone you don't like, it won't have the same effect on you. So, it's crucial to know what you're going to say, how you're going to say it, and when to say it. Lastly, it's crucial to learn how to turn a dream into a goal, and then into reality. How do you do this? By setting a date. If you just say you'll do something someday, it'll never happen. You might have a dusty book on your shelf that you said you'd read someday, but it's been sitting there for years because there's no specific date attached to it. But when you set a date, everything changes. You need to learn to put dates on your dreams. When you do, they stop being dreams and become goals. At that moment, the universe starts working in your favor. And when you achieve your financial goals, remember, you can't take anything to the grave. The coffin has no drawers or pockets. So why earn all this money if you're not going to enjoy life? So, it's essential to have leisure goals. From today on, don't just remember your goals on December 31st and think everything's sorted. You need to remember them every day. And always remember, good things take time. Amateurs often want instant results, but nature doesn't work that way. Dawn only comes after the entire night has passed. Similarly, when you plant a seed, it doesn't become a plant overnight. It takes time to germinate. Many people give up before they see results because they lack patience and persistence. It's not about a quick fix or an instant solution. Building wealth is a journey and each area we've unveiled today is a step forward. It's not about where you start. It's about the steps you take and the mindset you adopt along the way from today on. Let us carry forward the understanding that escaping poverty is not merely a dream, but a tangible reality within reach. Together, let us strive towards a future where every individual has the opportunity to thrive, where no one is left behind, and where poverty becomes a chapter closed in the story of humanity's progress. I wish you success, and thank you for watching till the end. Have a beautiful day or night and I'll see you in the next video.